Okay, and next up we have Creature Commandos. This is an animated series, a uh, TV show with actors eventually playing live action counterparts. First appearance, Weird War Tales number 93. Now this is the first original team. First, Elliot Taylor, AKA Patchwork. Vincent Velcoro as the vampire. Warren Griffith, werewolf. And Lieutenant Matthew Shreve, leader of the Commandos. Now, it's important that none of these have been shown in the preview that Image Gun shared with us for the Creature Commandos. Though, that doesn't mean that they're not going to appear. But as of right now, Gun seems to be really pulling a lot of these together on his own. Next up, we have Creature Commandos number one from 2000. This is the first modern team and solo series. It's also the first appearance of Captain Lucius Hunter, Atten the Mummy, and Bogman. Note the Frankenstein that appeared in this series is known as Patchwork, who first appeared in Weird War Tales number 93. Now guys, it's important to note that Gunn doesn't seem to be leaning a lot on this series, so take that into consideration when looking for these books. Now the first appearance of Frankenstein, Seven Soldiers, Frankenstein number one. So various forms of Frankenstein have appeared with DC throughout over time. Now, however, let's focus on the version Gunn picked up for this animated series. This modern version of Frankenstein first appeared in Grant Morrison's, well, I mean, let's just be honest, everything Grant Morrison seems to have done, James is picking up on right now. I think the man is clearly smitten with him. This may be the bromance that we've all been waiting for in comics. However, let's get back to reality. It should be noted that this version is distinct from all the previous versions as he chose the Frankenstein name for himself. Now, many sources cite Frankenstein agents of S-H-A-D-E as his first. However, this is not the case as that version is still based on seven soldiers. Though the character did receive slight aesthetic changes, more of a mohawk and a different chest plate, in shade, which is James Gunn's version, does appear to have the most. So it looks like we're really pulling from character arcs um, and just that particular story with that look, but that is still the same character. That is still the same based on concept. So up next, we got Bride. The Bride first appeared in Seven Soldiers Frankenstein number three. Like Frankenstein, the Bride Frankenstein has appeared in various other ways prior to this issue. However, James Gunn version resembles the Seven Soldiers version. And also guys, please note, Bride was mentioned by James Gunn himself to be the focus of this series. Runners up, we've got four entries, folks. Frankenstein, Agents of S-H-A-D-E, number one. Nina Mazursky's first appearance. So she's the shape of water appearance that we see um, presented in James Gunn's presentation. Second best is going to be the first Dr. Phosphorus appearance in Detective Comics 469. Uh, this was never originally part of the Creature Commandos, and as noted, Gunn is eyeing this character and has added him for a reason. Weird War Tales number 112. So this is the first GI Robot, aka J-A-K-E-2. Alright, so first off, there have been many versions of GI Robot dating all the way back to 1962. However, based on the photo Gunn shared, GI Robot has a number two on his helmet, leading us to believe that he is one of two versions, J-A-K-E number two in Weird War Tales 113, or GI Robot Mac II from 1966. Based on the look, specifically the red eyes and style of uniform, we feel this is Jake number two. Up next, The Fury of Firestorm, number 35. The first appearance of the Weasel, and we all know James loves to bring his brother into any universe he's working in, and it looks like we're doing it again, folks. All right, so Weasel has the ability to pretty much steal anything that he's in. So this is probably one of the oddest entries on this slate, and this is James really curating his own version of the team. That being the case, we feel like this is gonna be a lot of a cross between Suicide Squad, and Guardians of the Galaxy. So in our mind, Frankenstein, Agents of S-H-A-D-E number one is probably going to have the most keys and the most impact on this series. 